guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you how i create my own 3d nail charms so i'm basically going to be showing you how i bling out my nails and how i diy it so some of these nail charms can be bought online but i like to use all of the different kinds of bling that i have in my collection to create my own and these are really flexible designs so they really can be tailored to anything that you have in your collection so i have created three different um, designs on my long pointed tips and then I added one little extra that can go with any kind of bling nail so if you guys are interested in a closer look at how to create your own 3d nail art then just keep on watching So jumping right in with today's tutorial guys and the very first design is this really cute little jelly charm and this one is super easy, it is little dried flowers inside a little frame and surrounded with some studs. So for this design you're only going to need a few simple little pieces of bling so first off you're going to need a little frame I chose to go with a little textured one for extra dimension you're also going to need some dried flowers a glass gel of your choice but if you don't have any glass gels you can mix them up with some top coat and regular gel polish and you're also going to need a clear builder gel so my very first step is to lay my foundation so I use a palette for this and this gives the back of my charm a really flat um, surface so it's easy to adhere to the nail so the first step is to go ahead and take your builder gel and a tiny brush and lay down a foundation of clear gel so it basically adheres the little frame to the palette and this is going to go ahead and build up our charm so it doesn't move anywhere then I'm going to go ahead and cut off all my little flowers I'm choosing to go with pinks and reds since we are in autumn and my goal with this was to go ahead and get some of these little dried flowers in a whole sort of flower so still on the stem so I did have to play around with it sorry a little bit just to get the exact size of the flower that I wanted and then I went in with three different colors so I went in with the red the pink and then an almost like burgundy color Then the next step is to go in with the glass gel so I take a tiny amount of that on my brush you really don't need a lot for this stage of the little charm because basically we are going to build it with more builder gel so you do not want it to be too thick so you basically just want to go ahead and use your brush and really work that glass gel in so it completely covers the foundation layer of gel but also adheres to the side of the crystal and this is going to give you a complete whole little charm so it doesn't really look like it was just thrown together and then on that wet gel I'm going to go ahead and take my tiny little flowers and place them into a sort of like bunch shape so I'm trying my hardest to get them sort of even so it looks like a little bunch of flowers so the great thing about the versatility of this little charm is that you can completely tailor it to your tastes so if you didn't have um, these little tiny dried flowers you could go ahead and use glitter or even little pieces of iridescent um, glitter shapes or you could even use just foil so once I was happy with that I did go ahead and pop that into my LED light and you want to cure this for longer than you would cure uh, your nails so if you were going to cure this gel for 60 seconds do it for 120 20 and that is just going to completely cure all layers of that gel and then when I the when that comes out of the light sorry I go in with another layer of my builder gel to build up the little dome shape so as you can see this bit is really quite difficult to get the right amount of gel without it looking too bulky so you will notice that I did remove some and then I really try my hardest to work it into an even bubble and then before I pop it into the light I take the same sort of step that we do with our nails and I turn it upside down so it really does gather that gel into a really cool dome shape and then again I pop that into my LED light for a double cure and here is my finished design and as you can see I just added some little gold studs for a little extra dimension and now we move on to our next design and this one is probably the easiest of all and chances are you have everything here in your collection so for this you will require a few little pieces of 3d nail art but like i say they are readily available anywhere and are super cheap so you can create anything that you wish with this sort of concept 
So what you're going to need for this is um, some gold chains or some silver or any colour that you choose. And you're also going to need some little bling pieces. I chose some natural stones, some AB crystals, a little resin rose and also a little ceramic ball. So the very first step is to go in again and work with your foundation layer and this is going to help adhere all of our bling to the nail. So I'm using my Blue Sky Deco Gel and a striper brush for this. So I'm just basically going to add an even layer of that to the top of the nail and then I'm going to attach my crystal in a sort of like... I want to say it's not a circle but it's a sort of a rough circle shape. I really wanted to give it a little bit of dimension by it not being a full circle but again you can make this any shape that you wish and that's the great thing about it so it can completely tailor it to whatever you're doing on your nail. And then the next step is to go ahead and add all our bling to the centre of this. So like I mentioned, I'm placing this really cute little resin rose at the top and then I'm surrounding it with a little natural stone, a ceramic ball and some AB crystals. And I love that little iridescent tape on this nail and you could just see it pop through that natural stone and it was so cool. I haven't used this actual combo on my own nails before. This was one that I just created for this video, but I am absolutely loving it and I really think I need to try this on my own nails. I just love the contrast between the AB crystals, the natural stone and that really beautiful iridescent tape. So the last and final step would be to pop that into your LED light again for a double cure to make sure the light penetrate, sorry, penetrates all of those layers and then I'm going to top coat that nail so any of the glue that had leaked is covered and the nail has a nice smooth finish. And here is design number two. I really love how this one turned out, but remember guys, let me know what your favorite is down in the comment section below. So now we're moving on to design number three, which is probably my favorite. I absolutely love making my own glitter domes. So this was a, by far my favorite of the three. So again, you will probably have all of the things that I used in this little design in your collection. And that's a great thing to utilize everything you buy. So for this, you are going to need a little bow. It could be any kind of bow you want. And that is the great thing that you can make this any way or any color combos that you wish. You're also going to need a little frame to match the colour of your bow, a glitter of your choice, I'm using Lullaby by Smiley's Glitter Store, you're going to need some bling gel and also some clear builder gel. So the very first step for this is again to go ahead and lay down our foundation layer to adhere our stones to. And then the next step is to go ahead and attach our bow and I really love the bow this that I'm using this time. I got it in a recent haul from AliExpress and it is so cute. It's really skinny and then just pops out these absolutely gorgeous crystals. I love it. It's so obnoxious but it just does this nail so much justice you will see at the end. So I attached the bow and then I made sure everything was straight. And then onto that still wet gel I applied my very first layer of glitter. And then I pop that into my LED light for 30 seconds to completely dry that bottom layer of gel and then I added more glitter and then I encapsulated all of that glitter with some clear builder gel and again I sort of used a, like a swirly motion to create a bubble in the center and then when I was happy with the amount of gel that I had I again went ahead and turned that nail upside down so gravity brought that gel into a really cool dome shape and then again, you want to double cure this just to make sure the light is penetrating all throughout these that layers of glitter and underneath that bow. And once again, the great thing about this design is that it's completely versatile. You could use any kind of colour combos or glitter or any kind. And I've even saw people use little um, water decals inside these little glo globes and then encapsulate the whole um, water decal, which I think is really cool. But I went for an easier way, but it's so versatile that you could use it and create anything that you wish. And to finish off this design, I went ahead and added some white opal crystals just to bring the look together. And I really love how this one turned out.
So the next design I want to share with you guys is a little extra and these are so easy to do and I love to do these to complement whatever colour of nail polish that I'm using in my design and it really brings the bling nail together with the whole look of the whole nail design. So for this again you are going to need little frames but this time these are really tiny ones and I'm using silver because I'm going to be doing a blue sort of like opal sort of nail. So for that I'm going to be using 126 by Candy Coat and also some um, gold shards from Glitter Planet UK. So my very first step is to go ahead and decant my blue gel onto the paint palette and again I'm going to be using the paint palette to dry these little frames underneath the light and basically it just allows the gel to adhere to the frames without moving anywhere so you get a nice even dry. So my first step is to go ahead and add my very first layer of gel and the reason I do it in two layers is because you want to make sure that the light completely penetrates each layer so the little charm isn't wet underneath. And then I pop the first layer in for 30 seconds and then I repeat the process and then onto that wet gel I'm going to go ahead and apply some of these Glitter Planet Gold Shards. You could use as much or as little as you wish and you could also use regular gold foil or even some glitter. And then when I'm happy with the amount of foil I have on my little charms, I'm going to go ahead and dry that and then I encapsulate the whole little charm with some builder gel to build a nice little dome shape again. And then I switch over to a dotting tool just to manipulate that gel to make sure it is completely surrounding that crystal and I have an even layer because it will dry and leave a little dent in your charm. And here is what the finished design looks like. As I mentioned previously, I wanted to do a sort of cold weather opal nail. So the blue and the little white opals and also the Aurora studs, I thought complemented this design really well. So that is the great thing about these little charms is that they could completely tailor any kind of nail polish or any kind of design that you have. And it really just brings the bling nail matching in with the rest of your set. So guys, that's us finally reached the end of today's video and I really hope you enjoyed having a little nosy at how I create my own 3D charms and that you learned something and I also hope that you give these a try and if you do, please remember to share with me on any of my social medias which I always leave linked down below. So guys, if you did enjoy today's video, please give me a thumbs up. I would totally appreciate it. And if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Kylie. I am a complete nail polish addict. And on this channel, you will find everything from nail art to swatches, reviews and the occasional haul. So if that's something that piques your interest, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click that notifications bell. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.